Hello everyone, this is Yi Song Hong. I'm very happy to present our work Bridging the Gap Between Learning in Discrete and Continuous Environments for Vision and Language Navigation. This is a collaborative work with Sun Wang, Professor Stephen Good, and myself from the Australian National University, as well as Dr. Chiu from the University of Adelaide. The problem of vision and language navigation is formulated in both discrete and continuous environments. In the discrete setting, the navigation is performed on the predefined connectivity graph with sparse viewpoints spread across the environments. As a result, agent navigates by teleporting among viewpoints which enables an efficient learning and execution. On the contrary, VLN in continuous environment requires an agent to navigate in the open space with low-level controls and interact with obstacles. It is a much harder setup but closer to the real world. Most of the previous work studied discrete VLN and focused on image text matching, where a large number of innovations cannot be directly applied to continuous environments. There remains about a 20% gap in success rate for agents with the same architecture navigating in the two settings. To address the discrete continuous gap, we create a universal waypoint predictor to predict candidate waypoints around the target to enable the training and navigation of agents in continuous environments with high-level actions. A few related works, such as language condition waypoint prediction, seem to soon transfer with local policy and seem to real transfer with high-level actions are shown here for interested readers. In this work, we first study the benefit of navigating with high-level actions, which we identify view selection, that is to choose a single view among a panorama as the direction to navigate, as well as waypoint teleportation, that is to jump to a distant viewpoint in the selected direction as the key advantages. Through the oblation experiments in Table 1 and Table 2, we found that view selection greatly improves the agent's success rate since it explicitly formulates a text-to-image grounding problem for learning, while waypoint teleportation significantly speeds up the execution due to much less decision to make. As a result, we propose a candidate waypoint predictor to generate virtual waypoints for agents in continuous environments. As shown in figure, the model takes RGBD features as input, passes to a transformer to predict a heat map of possible waypoints. Each waypoint corresponds to an image for view selection, as well as a position that could be reached by executing deterministic low-level controls. To train the waypoint predictor, we first adapt the connectivity graph predefined for the Metaphor's 3D environment to the continuous environment. Then, represent each waypoint as a Gaussian distribution on the heat map and minimize the mean square error between the predicted and the ground truth heat maps. We compare the statistics of the original connectivity graph and the adapted graph as well as the agent's performance over the two graphs to confirm the quality of the adapted graph in the continuous environments. We also show that our transformer-based waypoint predictor can generate more accurate predictions comparing to an MLP baseline and the UNET applied in previous work. As shown in Figure 11, when training the agent for VLN, we also experiment with resampling the position of selected waypoint from its Gaussian distribution as an augmentation method. Table 4 shows the main results, comparing method 1, 3, and 5, as well as methods 6, 8, and 10, we can see that Training the agent with our waypoint predictor in continuous environments significantly boosts the performance and reduces the discrete continuous gap. Moreover, shown by methods 4 and 9, augmenting the predicted waypoints so that the agent can travel with different step lengths and interact with different obstacles to reach the same target further improves the performance, even outperform navigating on the ground truth graph for this CMA model. We also compare models trained with our waypoint predictor to the previous methods on the text server of the room-to-room -room and the room-across-room datasets. Results show that our method significantly outperforms existing methods and become the new state-of-the-art. Finally, here are some visualizations. All cylinders represent the presented waypoints, and the red cylinders are the selected waypoints. Agents move towards the selected waypoints through low-level controls to reach the target. Thanks for your interest in our work. Please refer to the paper and the project webpage for more details. We hope that this work can encourage future VLN research in the more realistic continuous environments and as a step towards VLN in the real world. Thank you.